Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Little Educational Channel. So this is the time to reveal the results for the quiz contest which was conducted on 14th of March 2022. Yes, this environmental science quiz is conducted every week on this platform to prepare ourselves for the environmental science entrances and to know something about our environment. So guys, you can also join our Telegram group Learn for the Environment. Link will be provided in the description to participate in the daily quiz and strengthen your preparation so let's start today's video so before discussing the questions let me tell you about the rules for participating in this quiz contest so that you can participate and you can also become the top performer of the month if you combinedly score maximum marks in all the weekly quizzes of the month so if you want to know all the rules pause this video and go through all these rules the first question was the highest biological oxygen demand that is BOD can be expected in which of the following situations. So here the options are on your screen. I will wait for certain seconds. Then I will reveal the correct answer. So here the correct option will be option number D that means in untreated municipal wastewater the BOD will be high that means that is the most polluted water and, and don't get confused by the treated municipal wastewater because those will be having very very less BOD because they are already treated. So after treatment the municipal wastewater will be having the lesser BOD as compared to the untreated municipal wastewater. So I hope you are able to understand. Let's move on to the next question. The second question is on your screen. The question is the National Clean Energy Fund was created in 2010 by introducing a clean energy cess on which of the following. So here I will also wait for certain seconds then I will reveal the answer. So here the correct option will be option number A. The clean energy cess. Cess means tax. The tax was imposed for every ton of lignite or coal sold. So we'll know a bit more about this National Clean Energy Fund that is Clean Energy says. So let's move on to the next slide. Yes, here you should note down all these important points important for the examination purpose. First thing you should note down this National Clean Energy Fund was created in the year 2010 that is important which year by introducing a clean energy says says means tax as I've said on every ton of lignite or coal sold. So from whichever industry the coal or lignite is sold for every ton there is a fixed price or fixed tax imposed for the National Clean Energy Fund which is stored and this coal tax is a tax on domestic as well as imported coal that came into force in July 1st 2010 that means as well as domestic as well as imported coal coal which are important from the other countries are also given this clean energy cess or clean energy tax per ton of lignite or coal and it was built on the polluter pays principle. So the questions can be asked that it was built on which principle it is built on the polluter pays that means whoever pollutes he or she or that company or that industry has to pay on that principle to hold emitters of carbon dioxide responsible for the pollution. So in order to check the carbon dioxide emission, this clean energy cess was implemented in 2010 and it came into force in 1st July. So I hope you have noted down all these things. Let's move on to the next question. The third question is very very interesting. I hope you all will be able to answer this if your concept is clear. Let us read the question. The question is Minamata disease is caused by what? So here some of you will hit the option A and then you will get a big zero that means it is wrong. Why? Because it is telling it is caused by methyl mercury deficiency. But it is wrong. It is caused by methyl mercury intake. So none of this will be the correct option as per this question because it is caused by methyl mercury intake. And here as you can see it is an example of bio magnification here from volcanoes, from coal plants, from mining, all these are the sources of mercury that means Hg which is the element name of mercury 
and here what happens is when this mercury reacts with the methyl group then it forms methyl mercury it is carried away by the water bodies then when the small fishes are ingesting this methyl mercury they are carried forward through the food chain and when these fishes are eaten by the human beings then their concentration increases due to biomagnification which causes the minna mata disease in the organisms animals and as well as human beings so here volcanoes are the only natural source of its direct emission that means of mercury's direct emission natural source is only volcano you should note it down to the free tropospheric and stratospheric region so when the volcano erupts it releases mercury which is the only natural source of mercury emission which is going to the troposphere as well as the stratosphere region which is also very very harmful so these things you should note it down let's move on to the next question the fourth question is when did the basel convention came into force basel convention one of the very frequent last question so here the correct option will be option d 1992 yes this basel convention is one of the frequent last question so you should know by this slide so basel convention it is also called as basel convention on the control of transboundary movements of hazardous waste and their disposal it is a comprehensive treaty that was adopted in 1989 by the conference of plenipotentiaries so you should note down conference of plenipotentiaries but it came into force in 1992 adopted in 1989 but it came into force in 1992 two different years you should note down and its secretariat is situated in geneva switzerland and the non parties which are cannot transport hazardous waste to and from each other unless specially agreed so those who are not the parties under this basel convention they cannot transport the hazardous waste from one nation to another until and unless they are having the permission from the parties under the basel convention next thing is the member nations to the convention are required to have domestic legislation for both prevention and the punishment of the illegal trafficking of such hazardous waste so those countries which are under the basel convention they have signed they must be having domestic legislation under their country for preventing and punishing the illegal transport or trafficking of hazardous waste and it also ensures that the member nations those who are under this convention to control the generation the storage of hazardous waste transportation treatment reuse recycling recovery and final disposal of these hazardous waste so these are the duties for the countries which are under the basel convention and conference of parties so this is a primary organ of the basel convention so basel convention primary organ is conference of parties and is responsible to make decision about the operation of the convention so conference of parties it is responsible to make decision about the operating system for the basel convention and it meets by annually that means for every 2 years these conference of parties meet which is the primary organ of the basel convention you should note down all these points very very important some question may come in one or other form so you should note down all this point let's move on to the next question the fifth question is the concentration of microorganisms in the digestion tank is measured as what and the options are mlss do bod or mld so for some of you it will be the new term and here i would like to say that the correct option will be option number a mlss yes the microorganisms concentration is in the digestion tank is measured as mixed liquor suspended solid so the full form of mlss is mixed liquor suspended solids or in other form that is volatile suspended solid that is vls so these two are the measured criteria for the microorganism in the digestion tank when they are treated so i hope you have noted down all these things now it's time to reveal the top 3 performers for this week's quiz contest so these are our top 3 performers of this week's quiz contest khadija samreen bhavik bagya anurag behra so congratulations to all these three participants thanks for participating and keep participating to be the top performer of the month so that you can win the cash prizes and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe the channel to get further updates and keep smiling believe in yourself